Yo, what's going on dudes? Hopefully everyone is doing okay. Welcome back to the channel. You join me on this glorious day in Scotland. The perfect day for getting out on your bike, isn't it? But today I wanted to talk to you about a little technique. I mean, you might know about it, you might not know about it. Maybe you do it, but you don't actually know that it's, you know, a technique. And that is blading. So blading is a technique that you learn, or you should learn, um, while training for your mod too. You might even do it on your CBT, it depends on the school I guess. But it's basically how you point your bike when you're getting ready to turn out from say a minor road onto a major road. Now what you do is you point your bike, obviously in the direction you want to go, but rather than approaching a T-junction, say straight on, you have to approach it at an angle. So that makes your turning out into the road a whole lot easier. I mean, it's not a difficult manoeuvre to pull it onto the road anyway, but if it's something you're struggling with a little bit, you can use blading. I mean, I use blading regardless, just because it makes your life easier. I mean, why wouldn't you want to make your life easier? It has more benefit doing it if you're turning right rather than turning left, because turning left, especially in the UK, if you're going from a minor road onto a major road, you kind of blade anyway because you kind of follow the way that the kerb goes. So this might help you. So I'm going to go and try and find somewhere, a quiet area to demonstrate this. We might try and get down to our old car park where we used to go. The problem is, is there's a big B&M's there now and the car park's always pretty busy. So uh, that's a shame, but we'll go down if there's a wee bit of space, we'll maybe just do it there. Um, and then we'll see how we get on. Go on yourself, son. Ah, oh, thing for charity. Well, that's cool as hell. I hope everyone's doing okay anyway. I mean, I've I've kind of started a new schedule at the moment just because I don't have that much time to get out on the bike. My schedule at the moment is kind of one video every two weeks. You know, I know it's not a lot, so it's only really a couple of videos a month. I used to do a weekly video, but I just don't have the time anymore. You know, it's uh, life gets in the way. But I'll still be doing the bike reviews and stuff. I've not reviewed a bike for a month. I'll have to go and review some more bikes for you guys because I love doing the reviews, man. Getting to ride big, fast bikes. Oh, so much fun. But yeah, anyway, the schedule is going to be about one video roughly every two weeks. If things ease up a wee bit, then uh, we'll go back to weekly videos if I can. This isn't an ideal place to show you um, blading, turning left, because we've got that big, horrible kerb there. And most of the left-hand turns going onto a major road in the UK don't have that, they kind of curve round so you naturally blade. So the whole point of this is basically making your life easier, alright? So if we were to pull out here without blading, I mean it's not a difficult thing to do, just say we're stopping at a junction, we're going to go to the right, alright, everything's clear, we pull out and then we're away, alright? So what we're going to do this time is we're going to be turning right, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to point my bike like that. Now can you see the difference? Just that, what, foot or two, oh stop my bike, that's been a while. We all do it. So just from being there to there, that maybe what, foot and a half, two feet, makes a huge difference. I'm just making sure there's no behind me because we're in a public car park here. Damn you B&Ms. Um, so just by angling our bike, it makes it so much easier to pull out. You're pretty much just turning the bars a wee bit and you're out. Right, see how easy that was? I mean, the first one was fairly easy as well. I mean, if you've got things like U-turns and things like that down, then doing stuff like that is absolutely no problem. You know, you don't have to be right on the edge like that. You know, as long as you're just angled a wee bit, you'll find that that turn will be so much easier. See? And it just makes your life a lot easier. And it also makes it easier to find those gaps. Now you're thinking about, right, what gap am I going to find? You know, am I going to have enough time to get out of that gap? Well, by creating that blading situation, it's cutting down the time it's going to take you to get out as well. Not by a lot. You know, it's not going to cut it down by seconds. You know, that's not going to happen. But it's going to cut it down slightly, and it's going to be able to make getting out onto the road a wee bit easier. So we're going to go out, and we're going to find some public places to use it and show you. And I think what else we'll do is we'll try and find a few left-hand turns and you'll see what I mean, I mean in the UK, it might be different in other parts of the world, I don't know but certainly in the UK, our minor roads going on to major roads, most of them 
the kerb kind of goes round, it follows the, the road, so you're naturally blading anyway. So we're going to go to the left here. Now you see how the kerb is naturally going round, round to the left? So we're naturally blading anyway. We're at a giveaway, we don't need to stop. Alright? So you're naturally blading when you're going to the left. So here's a junction here, we're indicating to the right. Now as you can see, the way we're pointing, we just pretty much keep the bike straight. And we can go out to the right. Now obviously not every junction is going to be that straight. You're going to get junctions that are at a perfect angle. You're going to get some junctions that are really tight. So you've pretty much got to do a U-turn to get out of them. And then, you know, you, you can't always judge what kind of corner you're coming up to until you get there. You know, so learning to blade efficiently will make your life a whole lot easier. As normal, we're doing all our checks. We've got our indication on. We're turning the bike where we want it to go. I know there's a car coming. That's what you need to be aware of, is the cars to your left, you know, you've all got some people that will just bomb past you. And you pull out, because we're pretty much pointing where we want to go, it's super easy to get out into the traffic and there's nothing too challenging about it, you know. So that's blading dudes, it's pretty much pointing the bike where you want to go at junctions. It just makes your life a whole lot easier, it makes finding those gaps a wee bit easier because then you're not thinking, is this a tight turn? How's my slow control? All this sort of stuff. You might never think of that anyway, but if you are out there and you're struggling with your slow control stuff, that could be something that's going through your head, you know, I'm not too good at this, I need to wait for a big enough gap, and there's lots of gaps that might be going past, and you've got a bunch of irritated drivers behind you going, come on! Tell you what, we'll do it right here instead. Alright, I was going to go left there, but we'll go right, just because we're going uphill a wee bit, just to show you that there's absolutely zero difference. We're clear. We're out onto the road. Get that slow manoeuvre stuff in check first. Once that's in check, everything else will fall into place. Just get used to turning the bike a wee bit. And uh, just take your time with it. If you can get yourself to a nice, quiet car park. One that hasn't been taken over by bloody B&Ms. <laughs> Give it a wee practice a couple of times a week. You'll notice, you know, that you're slow manoeuvre and pulling out of junctions. Just gets so much easier and you get so much more confident that uh, any junction you come up on, you don't go, oh my god, that's kind of tight, or oh my god, can I get up there? Yeah, you can, trust me. Well, anyway, dudes, hopefully you enjoyed this little video. I just wanted to talk about this subject because I've been getting asked about slow maneuver stuff, junctions and stuff like that before. You know, like I said at the start of the video, I've done a positioning video a long time ago. I'll leave a link up in the corner. You can go and check it out. But this is blading, this is how you do it, this is what it's for, and hopefully you found it useful. If you did, guys, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate every single one of your likes. And if you want to see all my videos, click on that subscribe button. And ring the bell while you're there, that way you get notified every time I upload a video. But until next time, dudes, stay safe, ride safe, take it easy.